So although it is freezing, I am going to DIY this table that I bought for $25. And it looks a hot ass mess now, but <laughs> wait till I'm done. So if you are into DIY or if you are into real estate like my wife and myself, um, my wife is a realtor, I buy and sell, and I'm thinking about renting i don't know yet but anyway if you are into those things and you need to update some houses but you need to do it on a budget it's two places in the baltimore area you can go and get stuff like this and just redo it yourself most of the time the stuff looked better than this but this was um in a fire somewhere one place is called the loading dock and the other place is called the re store i purchased this for 25 bucks and the crazy thing is two days ago my wife and i was in home goods and we seen one that looked exactly like this for 399 dollars so yeah 25 dollars the paint just cost me 20 dollars and we already have a paint sprayer so watch me i'm going to cover all of the glass with blue tape on this side and on the back side, I'm just gonna use a couple sheets of paper that I'm gonna cut and stuff, put it in. And then I'm going to remove these knobs cause I purchased new knobs. And then I'm going to paint it with this flat base paint by Bear. The color is little black dress and the reason i'm painting it black is because that's the painting i painted but um the reason i'm painting the table black is because i recently stripped the steps and i painted the spindles matte black so right now the steps are matte black and wood and since we have a wood table that i diy i think last year i'll put the link to that video below um, I think that'll be a good contrast to kind of connect the entryway to the dining room. It is 19 degrees and wifey pulled out the paint sprayer just for me. <laughs> you need a hat on. I had my hood on. I got two hoods. Those two doors. Yeah. And this is this. Yup. That looks better already. We got the inside. Finish start. Mm-hmm. So it's freezing outside, so we had to bring this inside. But it's looking good already. Just a few more coats. As precaution, we put plastic on our walls because ain't nobody repainting what's already finished. The dining room is finished. The paint sprayer put too much paint. Like, that's the only thing about the paint sprayer when you paint small things, small mm -hmm. surfaces, because it spits out so much paint. It's hard to stop it from running. So just like finishing it off with the paintbrush, getting all the excess off and just smoothing it out so it looks finished. So it's like the paint sprayer is perfect for like your walls or the outside of your house. But for small things, it's still good because it gets it done fast. But you gonna have like tedious things to do like this. Yeah, because I had it rolled up. Uh. And I put a tip on it for finishing mm -hmm. so it doesn't put out as much. It only, it only puts out four inches. The other tip puts out 12, it sprays out 12 inches. So, 12 inches is like, wh when would you use 12 inches of paint? On the wall. Oh. Like, when you spray, so, because it'll give you a, a wider range. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So, guys, it's the next day. I kind of forgot to finish the video. <laughs> but here is the finished product. Not bad for 25 bucks, huh? Like I said, earlier in the video I wanted to paint it black since our table is wood that way it can tie in the steps that we just did 
I freaking love it. Not bad for 25 bucks, especially since I was in Home Goods and in this store named At Home last week and table that look exactly like this exactly but a different color was $399 so until next time I see you guys later